Namaste everyone. We have today for you an arm balance tutorial and this one is your little baby grasshopper. So if you have more time to do a full class or um, a bit more movement before this short tutorial, think external rotation. So things like warrior two, tree pose, figure four, and also twist. You know what those are. Okay, so we'll start with a twist. Find a simple cross-legged seat. Anchor your sit bones. Breathe in. Reach your arms up. Twist to your left, breathe out. Tent your left fingertips behind you, lift your heart, feel your sternum lift, relax your shoulders. One more breath in. Breathe out, come back through center. And take your right heel in front of your left toes, so you have this asymmetrical situation in your seat, and then start to bow forward any amount. Kind of tiptoe your way over to one side and then the other. So you're just exploring here. Don't lose your breath. And then start to teeter your way back through center to sit up tall. Lift your right knee so the right foot can come onto the ground and scoot both feet in close to you. Left knee is still open to the left. Take your left fingertips behind you so you come back into the twist where you came from. Right piece fingers to right big toe. Now keep your heart sternum lifted as you start to lift your right leg. Keep the knee bent if that helps the spine stay long or perhaps you extend the right leg. Maybe the left arm even extends behind you. Relax your shoulders. Find your smooth and contained breath. Release your back hand and then bend your right knee to bring the foot back to the ground. Simple cross leg, you could bring the other shin in front if you can remember. It's probably sitting now in the way that feels a little bit awkward. Stretch your arms up, back to the breath, please. Twist to your right. Right fingertips tent behind you. As you feel the sternum lift, think that you're really going in. Unravel on an exhale and find that asymmetrical shape. Left heel is in front of your right toe. Start to walk forward, long spine, as long as you can, and then explore. Making your way back through center, walk your hands in to lift your torso. You can hug your right heel closer in toward your body. Left knee points to the sky so you can stamp your left foot down. Got an inch. Open to us, right fingertips behind. You start to revolve the heart over to your right. And then right piece fingers, your arm is inside your leg, left arm rather, left leg, left toes. Maybe lift your left foot. Maybe the right arm extends behind you, but remember, keeping the spine long and lifted is your priority. Maybe your left eyeball looks all the way to your right thumb. Release your hand, release your foot. Let's take an altar pose. Hands behind you, feet to the ground. Lift up, breathe up, breathe in. You can let the head fall back, breathe out. Sink your seat down to the ground and cross your right ankle on top of your left figure four. Walk your hands in close to you so that you lift your sternum but hug your shoulder blades. And your left foot could even walk in closer so you're really getting cozy. You can kind of tear. Or if you're feeling a lot already, be still and stay with even breath in the sensation. And remember that as we get a little bit deeper with this arm balance, it's good to be challenged. Start to walk your left arm long behind you to give yourself more space, left foot forward. Lean into the left hand to reach the right arm to the sky. 
and then reach it across the body to twist again, bringing your right arm somewhere on that right foot, and then lift up. So, as we work with something funky, it's good to be challenged. Find that place that feels a bit of a stretch, but not overwhelming, okay? Challenging, but not overwhelming. Let's come out of it. Release. Lengthen the legs in front of you and just give them a little shake. shake. <clears throat> Second side, left ankle, right thigh. First we get cozy. We walk it in close and lift up. Keep some life in your left toes. Move or be still. And then walk your right foot forward and your right arm back. Plant the right palm. Lean into the hands and lift the left arm. Let that be your inhale. Lift up. Reach over and across to twist as you breathe out. And then when you breathe in again, find more space in the heart and chest. Windshield wiper your shins from side to side. <clears throat> and then we'll get deep. Okay, so we're heading, starting from figure four. Let's start with the left ankle on top of the right thigh, bending the right knee. I'll flip this way so you can see how I'm organizing my arms. So remember how we lengthen the arm behind and the foot in front to give more space. Check that in again. So you start to lean your weight into your right hand, stretch your left arm to the side. Lift your heart, and then take it across as you breathe out. Okay, here's where you gotta use your internal compass to know when to get off the bus, if you will. Walk your right foot in toward you, and then start to walk your right hand over to the right, so it's not, process isn't always pretty. Bring your right elbow down to the ground. Right elbow down to the ground, keep walking your right foot in so you can lift your butt. So I'm lifting the butt with my right forearm all the way on the ground. Lift the butt, see if you can bring the left hand to the ground. Notice this perch, I've got my foot on the tricep of the left arm. So lift, that's the hardest part. So get the buns off the ground, lift up, and then you might find a little lean. From here, shift your gaze forward and see if you can extend your bottom leg. And you're breathing. So it takes practice. You gotta really get deep, and a lot of warming up is better than less. I'll take it to the other side. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Okay. The other side's harder for me. So we've got right ankle on top of left thigh. Flip. And you give yourself space. So walk your left foot forward and your left arm back. Lean into the left hand to stretch the right arm so you kind of get to look up a bit with the heart even. And then you take it across. See how deep you can get, meaning how high on your right arm can you get the foot? Above the elbow, so you can find that chaturanga shelf. And then start to walk your left foot in and your left hand over to the left. So bringing the left forearm down to the ground, finding that shelf. Now here's where we get tricky. Got to lift the whole situation up off the ground. The right hand will plant, so the wrist and the elbow find that stack. Mm -hmm. Tip forward with your eyes and your heart, whoa, and then length, bottom leg. So throat is long, there's that forward energy of the front body. Take one more breath. And then we'll meet on the ground. Oh, we, this requires a shavasana, lengthen it all. Empty it all. One more breath in. Breathe out. Good job. Thank you so much for taking time to be playful and to try something new. And I will see you soon.